the biggest app store changes that took place this year was the ability for developers to upload emulators to the Apple App Store. This has resulted in a ton of different emulators being available to customers without having the need to do some janky workaround. Now, I know this has been on Android for a long time, but it's iOS's time to shine. So we are going to talk about the Delta emulator and my first impressions of this app. Currently, the Delta emulator has a lot of support for Nintendo-based consoles and their games. The game I choose to play was the Super Nintendo Classic Illusion of Gaia, which is one of my favorite games of all time. I have to say that although I did play with touch controls, I don't think touch controls are going to be ideal for these types of games. In case you don't know, Illusion of Gaia is an action game, so you have to be aware of your button placements and exactly where the enemies are. It's not like Pokemon. If you do want to use a physical controller, PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4 and the Xbox controllers are supported on iOS. I have a video dedicated to how you can connect your PlayStation 5 control to your iOS device. So I will leave it in the card up here or over there or wherever it tends to show up. The emulator ran good. I didn't have any issues despite my phone running the 17.5 beta. The only gripe that I have with this app is that there's no official iPad support. If you launch this app on an iPad, you're going to get the janky iPhone view on an iPad, which is not ideal. I think iPads are the ideal devices for emulators. It's too bad that this particular emulator doesn't have an official iPad app. Maybe that is coming in the future. In case you want to download a ROM to your device, you would have to search on Google. I'm not going to give the site that I used because I don't want that site to get taken down because of this video. But if you search for the name of the game that you want, plus ROM, then you should have some pretty good search results. The next thing you want to do is make sure you download it and save that ROM to the Files app. You want to make sure you use the Files app because the Delta emulator looks at the Files app and it takes that ROM in order to display the downloaded game on your device. Now the App Store listing of Delta emulator states that there are going to be more consoles supported. So I would love to see the PlayStation 1 uh, become supported because I wanted to play Siphon Filter, maybe uh, PlayStation 2 so I could play Siphon Filter 2. Um, Legend of Lagaya, which is another underrated game for the PlayStation. And it will be really nice to get all of those memories of my childhood back. But at the end of the day, I don't think that this emulator craze is going to last very long because I think people are going to see the downsides of it, especially having no official iPad app. And if the big companies like Nintendo or anyone starts cracking down on these websites, then it's going to be very hard to find reliable websites in order to get the ROMs in order to use this app or any other app like it. So those are my impressions of the Delta app. I've only used it for about an hour. If you want a full review, I can do that in a few weeks once I play a little bit more games. But the biggest downside is there is no official iPad app. The bright side is you don't have to be stuck with touch controls. You can use your PlayStation, or you can use any of the thousands of peripherals that will connect your iPhone to make it a mini Nintendo Switch. And you can find those on Amazon, you can find them pretty much anywhere now. And they are affordable for the most part. Let me know what you think about this app. Have you used it? And do you look forward to other consoles being supported? Let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you for watching this video. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.